Hello and welcome to Hobby Vlog number 188. Now this week's been another quiet hobby week. I've got a few bits done. I've started a new project, going to continue an old project, but uh, you'll see about that in the next 10 minutes or so, because I think that's all it's going to be. I've been spending a lot of time on Tawny again. If any of you are interested in that, go to www.tourn.ee, Tawny. It is a tournament operation site. It works for any game system, most of all Middle Earth SPG at the moment, but I do support loads. So if you do run any competitions, any tournaments, play with your mates, you want to um, uh, use it, then please sign up. Uh, it's free if you uh, want to sign up, and it's free to run small um, tournaments on there so only when you get to the bigger sizes that, uh, that I ask for some help in the hosting and that's all it's for so yeah go and check it out I don't normally say very much about it but I'm spending so much time in it at the moment and it is part of my hobby I thought I'd mention it in the vlog anyway so yeah and if you've got any questions do drop them in the comments below I'll be very happy to answer them so yeah busy week I've got the swimming pool up I've been doing chores around the house and I have been doing a little bit of hobbying as well so I do hope you enjoy it let me know what you think in the comments below um, and uh, thanks for watching as always I really appreciate it and I'll see you again at the end it's a quite a long time ago when foreground was going into administration though I think what well, they are still being made <laughs> I'm not sure if it was a tax dodge whatever um, I ordered uh, three sets um, from them one of them was the Rogan's bar and bunkhouse collection and uh, I think to get myself back into making things, I'm going to have a go at this. So I've just like taken the uh, cut, cut it open, but I've not looked at it. I've only cut, cut open the actual um, box. What I've got is I've got the Rogan's bar. This is pre-painted, which I've not done before, so that's going to be interesting. So I've got Rogan's bar, and then what I've also got is the bar add-on, which is the bunkhouse. So I'm going to start off by looking at Rogan's bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at the instructions, if there are any, I hope there are, <laughs> um, and uh, make a start. So let's have a look at this. So we have, oh, we have some, uh, these are some windows that say Rogan's bar on them, which is pretty cool. And we have a little colour booklet, which is also cool. With a load of, cut these out and glue them in place using PVA. So that's really good. So we've got those, uh, like a load of um, gambling signs and posters and some artwork. Of course, what you can do is just print out your own, however you want. So I'm just looking to see if there's step numbers and how easy this is aha so this is the first one before assembling parts ensure you understand these instructions so pva glue or other suitable adhesive sharp modeling knife and sanding rubber band clamp it says to uh, clamp things together so anyway so what i'm going to do then is i'm going to have a quick look through this see what if i can identify the parts and then i'll actually try and film all of this i think i need to get back into uh, doing some hobbying properly so i'll try and form, film it all um, not sure whether that'll be today or whether I'll just read the instructions and look at the uh, look at the steps so 4G difficulty rating for this model kit is 5 it is not a toy this is not meant for those under 14 years there we are so yeah so I'm going to have a, have a flick through the uh, this little baggie here have a look at the parts see if I can identify things and I might make a start tonight or I might leave it until another night but uh, yeah I need to get need to get back into it don't I well, I was woken up this morning by Rosie wanted a hobby again. Didn't get it on camera because I hoped to get some more time with her later, but they've now headed off on holiday. We've made some good progress. We've got up to uh, step 55 is the next step. So that'll now wait three weeks until they get home. Going to box it all up, put it away. I'm not going to be tempted to touch it. Uh, I can't wait for them to get home and, uh, so that I can get back onto this with Rosie and finish this build up and show you how, how they do it. So you'll have to wait three weeks to see the next part of this build. Well, I did look at this last night, but I was way too tired to do anything. So I just had a quick look, found out that it's actually going to be pretty good, I think. It looks OK, and then put it away uh, so that I could look at it when I was a little bit less tired. So the instructions are pretty clear. We've got some very clear numbering on the pictures. You can see that middle bond there is supposed to be AB. And then we've got A3, A1, A2, A5 and A4. And if we have a look on the sprue, you can see there that is part A, B, so that's really, really clear. And then I've got the other parts here, A1, um, A3, and then A2, A4, 
an A5. So, yeah, so what you need to do is just pretty much a traditional um, traditional um, MDF kit. So get your sharp knife um, and from the back side you can really easily see where it's being held in and then just very gently push against it and you can see just how easily that popped out there. Very little pressure needed. One pretty cool thing that I've found or one annoying thing there is oh well actually that's a <laughs> DR3 that has a that has a uh, um, a number actually on it so I've accidentally pushed that through which was a bit a bit silly I shouldn't have done that that was accidental uh, and that's put me off a bit but one thing I have noticed which is quite cool is there's actually a little bit of a there's a sprue tool they give you so if we look here we have a little pointed sprue tool and that's going to be really useful for getting out small details and it's quite sharp so yeah if you do that so anyway that's part a b that sits like that like i say i've accidentally knocked one through but that should be all right we're then going to need to get the rest of the parts out a1 and a3 and then some of the green ones and these come out come, pop really easy so that's nice and then when we've got all our parts, what we'll do is we will look at gluing them together. So I will continue to remove the parts. And then when I come to the assembly step, I will turn the camera back on and show you how that goes. We should always dry fit. That's just dry fitted together and that went together really nicely. So what I'm gonna do now is take it apart <laughs> and probably fail to get it to uh, glued together as sweetly again. So I've got some PVA glue on this, um, on my little like dinner plate that I do hasten to add, I did buy especially for this purpose. Um, we're gonna just put some PVA along the joints, not too much. Don't want to completely overwhelm it but enough so that it is actually going to create a bond. And we'll do it along these sides, we'll do it along all the sides, because I'm going to be putting it together in one go. And you'll notice that I am putting it on top of the these little nubs here, which do go into the side of the, of the walls. And for this particular one, the uh, what you're laying on putting on here the color goes to the outside because there is actually more that will line the inside of this building so this is my first ever go on a pre-painted kit and the first proper real foreground kit i've had so um, it's a learning curve for me this so anyway we'll get all this glue on and then I'll uh, do the assembly step and then clamp it and leave it overnight. Because you don't rush this. And I'm not in a rush for this building. I'm doing this to get myself back into hobbying. I have a huge foreground kit to build. The, uh, whatever it is, the, the big multi-storey uh, inn pub thing so uh, I almost pulled that out but I realized that's probably a little bit too much to do for your first time back hobby and we uh, kind of lost a bit of your mojo anyway so we've done that so what I'm now going to do is put the glue on the other tabs on the walls There we are. So let's see if this will go together as sweetly as it did when I uh, did the dry fitting. Well, there we are. I am going to need to clamp it, which I will do off camera because that's going to get a bit fiddly. And I'll bring it back and show it less when it's clamped. But you can see that went together really quite nicely and uh, this kit is impressing me so far. Well I elected to go without the clamps 
just a bit too big for my normal clamps there. My metal clamps are a bit too heavy. So what I've decided to do is go for a little bit of weight. So I'm using these squares to hold all of the walls square. And then I've put some more weight on top just to make sure it all sits down and doesn't bow out. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's going to be enough. So I'll give that a good few hours to dry before I come back to it. Um, but that's looking pretty good to me so far. Um, I think that we're, we're onto something there. Well, it's the next morning. So let's see how well this is stuck together and uh, see if I get any time today to do more than this. Not bad. I need to seat that corner a bit better, but this one's done all right. So just a little bit more glue is needed in there maybe even, dare I say it, some super glue and a bit of a clamp like that and that should then resolve that so I'll do that now leave that to dry and then the next step is getting together the inners so you can see these are the inner parts and they're glued on the inside so uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll seal that, as I say, just need a little bit of glue on that to hold that in place. Get the next pieces together um, and I'll bring you back when I get to that, whenever that will be. It might be a bit later today, hopefully. Well, yesterday evening I had a really enjoyable paint and chat with my mate Tim. Uh, just exactly what I needed. That was really good fun um, and uh, got me away from Tawny, which I've been absolutely hammering again this week. Um, so yeah, just a nice break. And uh, during that, I managed to finish painting up Radagast to go on the Eagle. So that means that my Ardacon armies are now complete. I've not yet glued it on. I've got my super glue just here, so I'll be sticking him on very shortly. And then what's left for me to do is to work out how I'm gonna pack these. <laughs> because yeah, it's not exactly a normal army. I've got Gua here and I've got uh, Bay on the bear as well to uh, to bring along. So yeah, that's going to be fun. I'll probably film that sort of adventure as well when I get to it. So, uh, but anyway, it's good that I'm I'm done. About six weeks left. I've got lots and lots to do on Tawny still, but at least my army's completed. And as I say, now it's just a case of working out packing, which I'm actually going to do very soon because if I need to, but um, to have some checked luggage, I need to get that booked on. So anyway, there we are. My eagle army is, is done and I'm really, really pleased with how it looks. It looks awesome. Something else which I've managed to do today is uh, unpack all the whiskey that was shipped over and in that was the last bits from Tim, the same guy that I did the uh, paint and chat with last night. He gave me some Blood Red Scars Yak Ones, which are cool, and the rule book for the World War II fighter combat game. And I think I can use my Airflix miniatures, the Airflix aeroplanes for this. I'm not sure, but I think I can. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't had any, really had a chance to even look at it at all. Uh, it's been in a box <laughs> and it arrived this week and I only got it out of the box today. Uh, but yeah, that will go um, hopefully uh, on the shelf and maybe have some games. I've heard really good things about Warlord and apparently they're really good fun to play. We shall see, but at least it's now been received. It's no longer traveling across Europe um, and everything got here safe. So this project, which has sat, I've primed the model, but I've not done anything else, is now gonna actually take a bit of priority and I'm gonna try to get it done. Uh, I'm even gonna try and get it done before Rosie gets back from the break, which is about two and a half weeks now. I almost certainly won't achieve that, but at least if I try, then I might. Um, but yeah, so the challenge for the TCU is encounter in a box. So I'm going to do this encounter between the Gruffalo and the mouse in a box. So I'm going to have fun with that. So I'm going to make some trees. Uh, I'm actually quite excited about this. I've been wanting to do it for ages, but just the, uh, uh, the, the holiday and then coming back being so busy on Tawny has stopped me from doing anything hobby-wise. But I think I can probably knock this out pretty quickly and pretty easily. So the first thing will be to paint up the Gruffalo, um, which should be, as you see, quite simple. It's got simple coloration. And then I will find myself a box um, and work out and start to do all this awesome thing. So we've got a fallen down tree here. We've got some rocks, we've got a path. Um, and what I might even try to do is put the word, put the words in the box so that it is literally a reproduction of this page. And then that can be another awesome thing for Rosie to have on her wall. Um, and she loves this book, so do I, so does Angela. So uh, yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna get onto this. So the first thing we'll be painting, when I've done that, I'll bring you along, we'll do the next steps. Once I finish painting it, I'll try and get that done as soon as possible.
So one of the chores I managed to get done this week, which I'm really pleased about, here is the uh, Canberra that I made and the painting of my dad, which I've had it for a while. Uh, when I was at my mum's on my holiday, I picked up a load of pictures that my dad used to have on his office wall. One of them was this, which is two um, V-bombers, but then you've got a Canberra tucked away at the back, <laughs> which was always a little bit subtle. So I put that up there. Now I did try to put two extra pictures up on this wall here, but this wall here is made from the white, is the white stone wall. You can see, I don't know how thick that wall is. If I go here, <laughs> our walls are crazy thick. Um, and so I wasn't actually able to get the nails to go in. I need to spend a little bit more time with that, potentially drill it out, put some wood in and then hammer the nails in. And these pictures are down here. So I'll quickly show you these as well. So we've got one that my dad took, which is a tornado, uh, which is awesome. Um, and then another one which is too um, acrobatic, fine acrobatic. So eventually, hopefully, these will go here on this wall here and that will be my nice little uh, little kind of homage to my dad, which is really, really pleased. I actually did put another one up, which is nothing to do with her being, but look at that little pumpkin <laughs> with some of our uh, cucumbers that we harvested. Um, so that's now put up over here as well. So I do my exercises in here, which is nothing to do with hobby, but anyway, and so when I'm running on the spot and doing my jumps, I get to look at my dad and Rosie, and obviously that makes me very happy. Anyway, really good to get this picture up, and hopefully I'll get the other two up soon. I'll probably film when I've done that as well, just to show you all what it looks like, because this is all part of that little diorama that I did for the camera. Well, there we are. I think it's turned out to be a little bit more than 10 minutes, but not too much longer. I hope you enjoyed that. Just uh, as I say, just a quiet week this week. I've been absolutely hammering it on Tony. I'm getting there. Um, I've got about six weeks left. I really need to get it done. There's 200 people relying on me. So that's why I'm so uh, I'm pressuring myself so much. Not that anyone else is putting pressure on me. Um, it's all coming from myself, but I've got to get it done. So just going to crack on. So as I've said a couple of times now, this next few weeks are going to be a little bit hobby light, but I'm going to try and keep doing a little bit every now and then um, so that I can at least keep ticking over. I can slowly feel the need or the urge to make things coming back. Uh, for a couple of weeks now, I've just had no real desire at all. So that's helped me to focus on Tony. I can slowly feel a little bit of kind of churning going inside that says, you know, I want to make something again. So that might mean these hot vlogs get a bit longer sooner, but we shall see. I'm rambling. I'll shush now. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I really appreciate them. So don't be shy. Do say hi. I'll wrap up by saying, as we always do, if any of you are impacted by the horrific war in Ukraine, then my thoughts, my heart does go out to you and anyone that you know who may be in that horrendous situation. It's just terrible. Um, and to everyone, please do stay healthy, stay safe and stay well.